Wandering Winder here. Whoa. Cavalry Sheepdog. I think we're going to open Masquerade. And then I mean, my opponent gets to do it with the goat in turn one and then get the cavalry. But I think I'm going to do something similar anyway and just open cavalry turn two anyway. Maybe Masquerade isn't the thing to get. Maybe it's Sheepdog. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. I don't need the Masquerade to thin so much. Way of the Pig makes all this stuff look better, too. So we're going to go Sheepdog, Cavalry. I'm going to try to get some Pixies, some Villages, and Sheepdogs, and Cavalries, and draw that way. Once we're drawing, we can think about adding Nomad Camp or Dismantle, probably Dismantle, to ramp up the Econ. We're going to need Nomad Camp at some point to be plus by, but we'll see about the order. Okay. I just think the Sheepdog is doing a lot for you here. Uh, and the Masquerade is its not doing nothing, but it doesn't do enough, I think. I mean, we'll see how it turns out. Would I rather have Pixies or Border Guards? I, know, I think Pixies. And this is just much less fortunate for me because my goat misses, and your goat, you got to play it every shuffle. Well, I mean, this is going to be a short shuffle, but... And that wasn't exactly what I was hoping to draw, but okay. Uh, oh, you can even pig the sheepdog reaction, and there's a village for you. I'm probably going to do that here. In case I draw the horse, but I'm going to react after the second horse. Or I could, yeah, I think that's the way I want to do it, is gain both horses, then react. Or, I, I, like, I could react and play it just for the cards without. Uh, after the first horse, but I think it like it better to... Do it this way. Get another sheepdog here. Okay. So I basically just want all the sheepdogs and cavalries. And then at some point, like I can I can gain whatever else I need to, but it's really not important. You're gonna take a sheepdog here, right? You take a village? See, I actually don't think you need Village, because you can react Sheepdog Pig. I don't know that my opponent is appreciating that.
So I feel like I've drawn pretty poorly here, but I still think I am drawing really well at this point. Should still have seven money in my deck. Which means what? Which means, well, I'm probably going to go ahead and fire off of one of these horses. We're going to fire this one off too. Okay. Cavalry. Okay, we want to. Great. And we get to buy a sheepdog. And we're good to go. So we're basically drawing our deck now. Um, Soon, I guess it's going to be time to get the dismantle. Maybe this turn. We'll see how well we draw here. Because I'm going to fire a horse off first. I'd like to stockpile a little bit of horses, but I don't know that I can stockpile that many. I have four sheepdogs here, especially if I want the ability to do gain and play, which would be kind of nice. Oh, I have three sheepdogs. You have one. Okay. So I have three sheepdogs. Those are going to draw me. Yeah, I'm going to definitely need to fire off at least a one horse here. You are getting your golds up faster. You have three of them already now. fire the horse off first because it'll give me more options with my pixie. This should be a sheepdog. This should be a sheepdog. But I have all five of these horses. Which should be pretty good for me. Oh, you take another village. Okay. Seize gift. I'm actually going to take that here. Wow. Just realized. I need to do it this way. Okay. So I have six coppers. And I think I have all eight of these horses. can't be right. I have three sheepdogs, six treasures, a dismantle. So I have six horses. No, I have six treasures, a dismantle. Yeah, that's seven. Three sheepdogs, that's ten. three cavalries. So I only have three horses. So you have five right now? When did that happen? Earth's Gift is like the best one. You get two cavalries. And or sheepdogs. I like my opponent's position a lot if these villages were sheepdogs. Okay. The 
cavalries are going to run out. That could be not great for me. So in your remaining nine cards, you've got some cavalries. That's the last of your sheepdogs. You have a dismantle. So in these seven cards, there's a dismantle, another cavalry, a nomad camp. Gosh, I'm behind anyway. Well, shoot. So your hand now should be gold, nomad camp, dismantle. Goat. And another copper, right? So there go all of the cavalries. Yeah, this is not good for me. Take a sheepdog here. <clears throat> How did I get so far behind? I mean, is it just because you got to have this one big turn first? Or is it because you got the dismantle earlier? Or what? I don't know, but I am way far behind. You got all of these cavalries. Couldn't you have just picked that horse? Where are all these horses? There's none in the trash. There's one in play here. That means I have eight? I don't think I have eight. Where did these horses go? I do have eight. Well, we need to take some proper sheep dogs here. And I need to get a nomad camp now. I must have eight. Okay. To watch out a little bit for the game ending. Sheepdogs, the cavalries are gone. Sheepdogs are going to run. I don't really want to dismantle. And maybe the nomad camp was a mistake. Maybe I should have just bought a sheepdog last turn anyway. Because I can dismantle this gold for another nomad camp. But we'll see. I mean, we're both drawing really well now, and you have a lot more golds than me. Maybe the masquerade was good. It did a little bit of thinning for you, and maybe that was just enough. Okay, well, I guess you're not drawing that well now that you can't buy all these cavalries. You're really picking a lot of them, a lot of your stuff in general. <clears throat> I 
think I'm pretty fine playing at least a couple of my horses. So if I have eight horses, yeah, you're going colony sheepdog. And another mystic, I guess. I knew it was likely to reveal horse there, but the reason why I did this anyway was Maybe these villages are better than I thought too because they let you react your sheepdogs more often fully. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but the reason why I wish for gold is because like, I wanted to seed my hand here with all of these horses. But as long as I don't touch villages too much, I don't think I'm in too much danger of the pile out killing me. I'm in more danger of you just being able to colony too much. You got five sheepdogs. You got most of these things, despite me thinking I was ahead in that game. I mean, Earth's Gift had to have helped you too, right? But, mm. I mean, I would expect, like, Colony Mystic here, but the thing about Platinum is I'm not sure how well you're actually drawing. Because your last three cards here are a village and something, and you did thin a copper again this turn, but... way I get a top deck two of those. This is eight. This is fourteen. This could be fifteen. 
think I'm gonna go Platinum Mystic here. Should get me at least close to double colony. How many horses do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I only have six horses left. This is a bit of an issue. Could be that I go just colony village here. I can always dismantle the colony for more money. But I think I like doing this. I'm a little concerned about the mystics being so low. I am going to need to dismantle into a little bit more money this turn if I want a double colony, and I do want a double colony. Ooh, this is the end of your turn. That's good for me. is really bad. Uh, I guess we can pick some of this stuff. Okay. What is the last card here? It doesn't matter. I should know this. Uh, how many mystics do I have? I had, last turn, I had 14 money based on two coppers. So there's another copper. So what's a copper? Okay. But I'm really bleeding horses here. One platinum, one gold, one goat, one copper, four mystics, a bunch of sheepdogs. Two colonies. This is a great turn for you. You might be able to double colony and... In fact, you probably will be able to double colony plus. You have a dismantle. You can dismantle a gold into a duchy or something. At the very least, you want the horse. Don't you want to leave that for next turn? I 
think you have three horses, which means I have two. So you have three cavalries, I have three cavalries, and there's four in the trash, I'm pretty sure. You have five sheepdogs, I have five sheepdogs. Do you have six? I only played four last turn, didn't I? Yeah, you have six sheep. No, I have five, okay. So your hand should be... I mean, these two cards on top of your deck should both be horses. And then your hand should be um, four golds, a platinum, that's 17 money, a mystic, a goat, a dismantle, and maybe it's not so easy for you to double colony plus. But it should be possible. All right, you play one horse, you dismantle gold into duchy, you pick all the rest of the horses. That should let you draw everything again. You play a mystic when it's guaranteed to hit. Yeah, so it made sense to not stack this one. This play order, though, I don't know that that was the right time to play that cavalry. I want to play it at the end. Huh. Okay. Guess this is even better. Yeah, platinum for. Well, if you still have enough money, because you don't have a platinum anymore, but I, I guess you still have enough money. You should still have an, a, another mystic, right? And then you're going to have five golds. 15, 19, 20, 6. Do you not have another mystic? Can I not count? Huh. Well, we're going to hope that you dud, unlikely as that is. Even your duds, though, are going to be able to get colony. You probably want to trash this copper. which is perfectly fine. Gonna go colony province here, yeah. Three cavalries, two sheepdogs, one horse, a bunch more mystics. I don't want to trash that. I want a pixie. And I'm losing. I'm losing very, very much, 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 much. So I had two colonies last turn, right? Yeah, I had both the colonies. I played how many of my mystics? Three of them. I'm trying to figure out what the last cards are here. There's a sheepdog, a cavalry, is there a sheepdog? Did I play all five? No, there's a sheepdog, a cavalry, and not a mystic, it's not a colony, it's, it's, oh, it's the platinum. Okay, so sheepdog, mystic, 
Sheepdog Colony, Sheepdog Platinum Cavalry. I'm not quite sure how I'm planning to win now. Because, let's say at worst you get one colony here. Oh, I guess you can't realistically double. I still don't really know how I'm winning, but uh, this is possible, I guess. A really, really good pixie boon. I feel like second player let me down here in terms of I should have been able to get better on the sheepdog and cavalry splits. Also that really good pixie boon that, that got earth skiffed at a great time and and also probably I overestimated how much better my position was than yours. I think it maybe was still a tiny tiny bit better but played a lot of your horses here. You did get to double colony. Okay. So this should be the cavalry. And we want to do this now so that we get both these horses in this shuffle. Hoping to find a sheepdog here. Probably should have just wished for it straight away. Oh, what is this last card? I can't remember. need like all of these provinces in a colony. Ugh. Nah, that's never happening. <laughs> 